Hey guys, welcome to a 2v2 on Atlantic Wall. This is a Sir Hinkle map, it's a new one. It's available in 1v1s, 2v2s and 3v3s I think, as all of his maps are. He's just rescaled them for each of the player sizes. So, in this game I am playing with Damien Hart on the Gemma team up against Sausages and Hansi. So I wasn't very confident in this game because Sausages and Hansi are extremely good. So the top, one of the top players, a few of the top players out there. I think they're both better than me in 1v1s right now. As we have Panzer Grenadier in the center. By me, trying to fight off with sausages. I was surprised I won the grenade wall. See, see right there. Took out a 2 to 1. And Hansi is flanking this side with a nice in grenade launcher. Look at this. Look at the amount of carnage right now in the center. What's going on? So both of them flanking. Look at the sausages on the right. Hansi on the left. I'm just getting absolute trash right now. I did a decent job, I guess, at the start, but now I'm really getting outnumbered, pushed out. And on my other side, I didn't have much MP, so... Handy has taken that. Demon Heart, on the other hand, had a, had a nice job of just capping the two flags there. Uh, no flank yet from him. So a very nice opening by them too. Well, and Handy with the Piat, as you can see, killing my infantry. Did a very good job doing that. I must say I was quite impressed. Watch this. Watch Handy with his Piat. I think Piat. I know. I know that these AT infantry are great versus can kill infantry, but they're not economical usually. But look at that! Freaking takes out my elite marksman. Another shot. Look at this. Bam! Nearly kills my other two. I think they're actually decent versus elite marksmen because they're worth the money. They can potentially kill nearly the whole squad. And the AT infantry only costs around 75 MP, I think. Um, so they do well. The ones with, I guess the ones with the arc, like the Piat. So, could be a, a, a new counter for Elite Marksman. So I'm casting this game from the other way because you can see the map more. Uh, this is basically a map showcase. I want to use this video more for map showcase than actual my gameplay. So coming in with the Panzer Grenadiers. See there's a roadway. Uh, it's got a slight decline on this side, so this is the eastern point battle. You find that there'll be a lot of ducking here and grenading. And some positions to snipe and MG down the bottom. So both of them, both these sides have a hill. I do some nice cooking grenades in this position. So, is that a Piat? Yeah, I'll <laughs> with the Piat again. Is it playing so fancy? Just taking out my fancy grenadiers. Uh, so centre is a roadway, on this side of the centre there's a little sandbag area, I don't know who gets there first, I think we both get there at the same time, it's pretty much the same distance, I get to that position, he can get to that position. Uh, centre has cover on both ends, they already destroyed our cover, <clears throat> I think sausages must have threw dynamite there like he usually does. Uh, yeah, pretty good cover. House on both sides. Some places to hide tanks, throw grenades over. Uh, Western Point is a nice stone wall area. Where it's a bit deceiving. You put guys in cover here, they can't actually shoot over the hill. No, they can shoot on the hill. <laughs> it's, 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 it's too wide, so it's blocking. So you have to go across the other side to shoot to the enemy. And they're pretty close to flags, as you can see. You can bounce towards the spawned flags to each other and the center. So it's quite dynamic. So anyway, we taken a bit of a lead, a tiny lead for now. We've got the center, got the looks moving it up to the left point. I just want to wait around the hill. So that anyway, I can expect the enemies from this area. If it comes through here, I can probably kill it with my 20 mil at close range. Gonna get my sniper into a nice position to shoot off. And the dodge is out, so I saw the dodge. In hindsight, probably should have moved, moved behind this rock, or actually behind that car. <clears throat> so I'm fire shooting it right now. I've decrewed three of them. I was trying to get a lucky engine shot, so that's what you do versus the dodge, but no. Nah. So as you see, as you saw with that dodge, um, I can't penetrate it. No matter what range, you'll just kill the crew, or if I hit the engine, it has a chance of flaming, and that's all I was hoping for, but 
Yeah, this is why the Dodge is a good counter for the looks. Has been a, has been a standard counter in the past, but it's a bit more expensive now, so not as much. Wow, Sausage just went and a Boyer's AT rifle took out a 222 on the side. Very interesting. He's got uh, he's got very different play. This guy, right there. Decent combo, I guess. Dodge AT rifle. One guy. Oh, I'm not sure actually. Don't really have another hard counter for the counter I'm going to get for the Dodge, like the P3. So Dodge doing so well, slaughtering me quite easily. It's coming back onto the eastern point. Uh, center point, I'm not really helping Demon Hunt. Demon Hunt's trying to get there himself because I guess he's holding his point okay for now. But here comes the Black Watch from Sausages. UK start to get a bit more infantry on the enemy as they do have uh, the one pointers. Sniper, where's uh, Demon Hunt's sniper? It's in that position, okay. So I'm going to slowly pick off troops, hopefully. P3 out for Demon Hunt. I uh, probably needed it at my side. We weren't, we're not on TS by the way, so it wasn't really coordinated by. Uh, P3 in danger, and he's pushing up very nicely, taking the territory. Probably could have uh, gone all the way back here as well. As you can see, there's <laughs> not much, uh, I've lost everything. And I've got a uh, Vault from Force coming onto the left. Comes the Anzacs as well, Brandenburgers as well. So two pointer specials from both sides. Uh, did yep, Demon Hard did get it too. I don't know if Sausages missed this timer. <laughs> I don't see any Anzacs from Sausages. Probably was CP capped. In fact, does have a lot of special units. Olicon coming from uh, Sausages on the western. Not going to be that effective unless it comes up to the hill area. This area, I think it's uh, yeah, it provides a decent amount of cover. There's a little roadway to here. I think tanks can do 50-50s on this area. It's quite a flat map, but there's little terrain here and there which make it a bit interesting, I think. I think it plays a lot better than the other ones, um, in terms of, I guess, having more units being effective. The other map single has was unique uh, for gameplay, in terms of it was an infantry, I guess, fight. And I don't mind that, because Stalingrad, that Stalingrad map should be an infantry fight. It felt like Stalingrad indeed. Uh, this area here, they don't actually spawn here. The, 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 the allied team spawns around here and there. So really, uh, this is a, just for pretty <laughs> prettiness, for aesthetics. Uh, so you don't really see it unless you attack the enemy spawn. So interesting. Sorry for the uh, sidetrack, but uh, I think the six panda killed the P3. So six panda Olicon combo by Sausages, doing well, but Olicon, yeah, not the great position, I guess everyone's letting the map, ooh, Brandenburg is sneaky sneaky. He's got through, he's got through Demon Hard. Olicon, uh, yeah, definitely not in a good position to fire, it's being blocked. Uh, I'm putting my Brandenburgers, my Brandenburger field is out as well. I've got my P3 here, I'm waiting for something to counter it. I know how he's going to buy something to get it, like a Cromwell or something, Sherman, whatever. So just contesting this flag with, I find this flag was, uh, yeah, pretty much just sneaky, throwing grenades over, having some good positions up here, shooting out, and using this hill, I guess, as a bit of a uh, cover to withdraw. So it's decent gameplay, then I can come down over here and push in this position, where there's a hill that protects me. So a bit of, uh, yeah, I think that provides quite a good dynamic flow of movement. And to the center, I could probably use that more, because it, it's really quite close. I could jump from flag to flag, but I didn't really have, I guess, the inclination to do so with uh, so much that's <laughs> going on, uh, micro going on in this area. I was trying to do it occasionally, but no, didn't have the time. Let's try to get that position now. I'm going to try and help the center a bit. But yeah, there's a few MGs here, which are quite a bit pesky. And my sniper didn't have a good shot. Was, I think... Uh, yeah, I didn't uh, get a reposition. To, yeah, I did reposition the sniper. I, did, I knew that I had to get the MG out. Definitely target that MG quickly. Okay, bam! There, there it goes. Um, there's the dodge with Hansi's just miraculously doing so well. <laughs> it just killed everything. Uh, Demon Hard now getting pushed off his side. 
It's a nice Brandenburg list though. You can see there's two on this area. Then in the center, sausages with SAS, Olicon. Sub squad. Uh, six pounder, nice position on the roadway. It's actually a bit of a it's 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 cool that uh, there's so much detail. You can see it's a little little incline on that hill. And six pounder has a bit more, I guess, height so it can shoot everywhere. Or they come down in great position. There's also a little little decline right there. So these guys down here won't be able to shoot up there, vice versa. So look at that. Very, very cool hedge, I guess, hedge groves or little, little bounds on these areas. I really like, I really like the detail and this detail on this map is not, um, I guess, annoying for most players. It's really cool. Um, I actually like this map, to be honest. I really like this map for, for gameplay. I find, but I find though, yeah, you probably don't see the best gameplay in this game because I, yeah, we just get totally outskilled in my opinion. <laughs> Hansi and Demon Hard just destroying, sorry, Hansi and Sussie just destroying me far right. Look at that dodge kill. This dodge has been so annoying. It's very well played by Hansi. Trying to get a nice APC around shot probably, Mr. Hansi. I'm getting frustrated. I'm just going to try attack it a bit. And Six Panda also is right there. So I'm moving away. So Six Panda, Sausages. It's natural teamwork. Look at these guys. They're just... They're not on TS or anything, but they're just looking like they they know what's going on. They've got good map awareness. It's coming in at the right time. So I'm back in my shell on my little eastern flag, which I have. My sniper in a decent position. So picking up Hansi's troops quite easily. So it does a great job in my opinion. Look at that. Veteran sniper. 17 kills already. Jesus. Uh, dodge. <laughs> Second. Dodge is first. And it's uh, got main gun. Turreted. And look at this dodge coming in at the right time now. Distance. Bam on Demon Hard side. Bam. Half track. Desperation. <laughs> Look at that desperation by Demon Hard. This dodge might even kill that. I didn't know what happens. It is going to. Jesus. Oh, it's finally damaged. It can this guy put the dynamite out? Is it dynamite? What's the handsy going to do? What is handsy going to do? Oh, with MG34s? No. What's he doing? It's crazy. Jeez. Oh, so it didn't die. Okay, probably should have dynamited that. Uh, six pounder from um, Sasha has got me. I was trying to save Demon Heart with my P3, but there's a little hill right there. The dodge went over that hill, and I couldn't shoot over that hill, and the six pounder got me. Um, yeah, so little things like that are cool on this map, I find. So just knowing that happened, that dodge just dodged me at the right moment. Uh, Comet. So. Big Viper Hansi didn't lose many units as that dodge has been around for so long. Kill count wise, they are doing much better than us. Comet and Olicon, six pounder, all together. Flak by me. I'm thinking I just can't do too much. I just need a flak. He's out infantry me right now. He sniped my sniper with his own sniper right there. Counter snipe me. And I don't have anything now to pick off troops, so I need the flak. Plus, plus support to start pushing up. Decent positions from Sausages. Now pushing up a six banner so, so close to our spawn area. Look at this interesting, uh, the six banner's coverage. He can't shoot down here. Now he's going to move up to the hill area. And now he will be able to. Looks, I was... Just spawning it, going to move to the other flag. I think my Olicon died. Why did I buy a Lux? Because I had a flak. Didn't I have a flak? Yeah, I don't know. I think I just wanted, wanted to bait uh, some sort of vehicle, but yeah. Six pounder. Demon hard ping that. But not too late. Just lost my Lux straight out of the spawn. Didn't even know that the six pounder was there. Uh, so it's totally infested the area. This is this is why, guys, uh, yeah, should attack and push. Gaining territory. Gaining territory is actually a good thing in Assault Zones, no matter if there is no flags. I think it's great. So P3 uh, yeah, came back, bit sausages back in the ass. Probably should have died with a dodge. Things like that. I just hate when I really get frustrated when units that should have been killed 
come back and bite you in the ass like in that game versus Mr. Pringles in 1v1. Crusader AA should have, could have died to the AT Infantry, could have died to the Kamikaze, could have died to the, the Chihi many times and just, yeah, this basically destroyed my entire army. <laughs> Very frustrating. Uh, even grenade launcher useless by Hansi, doing well again. I think that he hit my guy that was about to throw the grenade and it blew up in the air and killed my assault squad. So that was frustrating. So now, positional play by me, I'm just going to use this flak to just take territory, pick off his uh, infantry just in the open. And wow, this guy is... Okay, I thought he was going to flank me. Associated with the Sherman. I think it countered the P3. Decent buy. And now my flak is in danger. Probably should have ran it back now. It's just going to be too cocky. I, wanted, I, I think I saw a sniper and I thought I want a little sniper there. So that's why I was shooting. But there isn't obviously no sniper now looking at this map. And he decreased me in the first shot. I've got no money. I've got money for a veteran tiger. But really there's not much time. SMG Sneaky by Hansi. So I've got to wait four minutes for the Venom Tiger. I'm thinking um, we're going to be dead before that comes. But I don't think I actually save it. I go... I go a stir. Still doing decent damage though, it's like. Just, I've decided to just yep, <laughs> kill as many before I die. SMG still sneaking that dirty bastard Hansi. I think uh, Team and I killed the Comet with a. I think he killed the Comet with the Brandenburger. Pretty sure. Comet's down. Mm, G from Demon Heart. I guess a bit 50 uh, 50. I guess desperate play right now. We have, we're not to have much MP. So we're going to go for it. Got two tanks on repair. Stut. I'm just going to pick off his sniper, pick off his units bit by bit and start pushing that way. I'm going to try that that card. His veteran tiger is a bit too far away. Uh, SMG. A dirty bastard has he. I think he gets me. Oh no. <laughs> that was a lucky turn. I'm quite confident that the stir can get penetrated. It's 80 armor. This is the thing is with the stir compared to the other SPGs. He's trying to track me, that bastard. And I'm going to get my Brandenburger up, as you can see. Bam. Take out that Sherman. And there he is. There he is, that dirty, dirty bastard. Looks out. Uh, I didn't realize my other looks were repaired though, so a bit of a miss oversight by me. So I'm gonna go dual looks down the line. Quite funny. There's no no support though. My infantry is all dead pretty much. And I've got no MP or CP. Look at this guy. He's still sneaking. I'm pushing up infantry. Ah, there he goes. Dirty. What is what is this? Uh, dynamite. Is that dynamite? Oh, it's normal grenades. <laughs> hey, that guy got the engine burn kill. On. Tell me. Did they fix engine kills? Did they? It's not world kill anymore? That's the case. Combat uh, maybe a uh, viable or I guess uh, uh, a mode that can be played for a some sort of competitive. They fix a bit of the balance. That's the biggest, uh, biggest issue in combat. Well, world kills. Uh, 95 mil. Bam. Totally, totally trashed. Well done to Sausages and Handy. You can see they're obviously going to win this game. Uh, Demon Heart got a nice kill off that Cromwell. With that Brandenburger. So, they're game changers, guys, as you can see. <laughs> we're not that much of a game changer if you're getting that that much trashed by Sausages and Hansi. It's a nice map, so Inkle, thank you. I like the gameplay. It's dynamic. It's It makes a lot of units useful. I think a lot of units will be useful on this map. 
Uh, it's fast. So that's one thing, it's fast. I find that it was very fast paced. Uh, probably better to do it on more balanced teams. We'll see how it goes in a close game. But that was a that was a fun experience. Thanks.